Hi guys, I'm Fred, mechanic at Active Cycles in Ashford. Uh, you might have seen my recent review on the Trek Checkpoint on YouTube. Um, well, I've got one myself now, uh, and I've done a few upgrades, so I'm just going to kind of walk you through them. Um, first thing and the main, the biggest thing I did um, was swap the wheels out. Um, so there's nothing really wrong with the standard wheels, but the, this is the SL5, so it's the lowest uh, in the range of carbon bikes. Um, so yeah, I upgraded straight away to the Zip 303S, um, which has uh, got quite a wide internal, so it's quite good for gravel. Um, and the Pirelli Cinturato hard case tyres, uh, hard pack, sorry, um, which actually I'm really impressed with. They roll really fast um, and they're quite, still quite capable off-road. Um, the other thing is the check, the SL5 comes with um, 2x11 GRX. Um, I swapped that out and put 1x11 GRX with a SLX cassette on the rear, so it's a mountain bike cassette. Um, I put a power meter on there just because I like to train on this bike as well and it gives me that versatility. Um, and the, the only other stuff really is um, I put narrower bars on just because of my road background I'm just so used to narrow bars and I couldn't get used to that wide gravel flare um, and I just like it I like it to ride a bit more like a road bike than, than, a, than a big wide gravel bike uh, and obviously I've fitted frame bags and um, that's just because at the moment I've been commuting on this bike and it just allows me to take my lunch and bits and bobs that I need with me um, and it's it's got all the blender stuff so I'm safe I've got all my lights and my Garmin mount and stuff all all integrated um, and it all looks pretty clean so I'm pretty happy with it yeah so there you have it guys um, yeah that's my gravel bike uh, I'm definitely a convert uh, I was I was a diehard roadie before uh, and now I'm definitely spending more time on this bike um, and I really think gravel's kicking off um, and it's really exploding um, just because of how capable they are um, as I've said before we, we've got these bikes in stock in Ashford, uh, Henwood Industrial Estate. Come and see us, um, the kettle's always on. Uh, we hope to see you soon.